Hello there, racing fans, and welcome back to the Grandstand area here at Harris Chester on a perfectly divine day. And joining me, as you can see, is the coach, E.V. Helm, who makes picks and selections, which you could follow to the bank and make a lot of money. So, E.V., how we do last week? Steve, we did okay, 50%. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in a little bit of a 50% rut, so let's see if let's we can up that this week a okay. little bit. Hey, it's uh, really good to be here because I think this weekend in particular starts off the real summer season. Mm. A lot of big races, a lot of stakes races, so yep. I'm looking forward to it. Good. A couple of quick shout outs this week to Andy and the Rosen family in Delaware County and to Tim and the Miller family from all the way out in Mechanicsburg, PA. Wow. Tim is a regular viewer. It said, he said our show takes him back to when he used to rub down horses, and he is a Steve Ross fan. Oh, well, thank you so much. Nice <laughs> to see you guys in Mechanicsville. Let's go right to our harness picks if mm -hmm. we can this week. Our, our first pick is the Duke's pick. We're going tonight up to Mohawk Racetrack. We're staying with a winner again. Race number two, number seven, Lucky Jim. He's going for his 15th in a row. It's the $50,000 Maple Leaf Alims. The difference is we're getting some foreign invaders getting into those Alims. So I think maybe he's going to be challenged just a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, this week we got our Harris pick, too. Right. And uh, Sunday here at Harris, uh, they have the two eliminations of the Ben Franklin pace. We're going to go with both races, and we're going to pick in race eight, number five, Artificial. I think he'll step up and handle that first field in that elimination. And in race 12, we're going with number one, Mr. Big. Um, I'm hoping that Mr. Big starts to run like he always has. Grind it up on the outside and run these people over. I think Mr. Big is flying in right now. <laughs> and our Phillies pick. Uh, Saturday night, tonight at Yonkers, uh, race 10. We're going to go with number 7, 4 Trumps A. It's the open pace. Mm -hmm. I think this horse got a better draw out of the 7 spot, and I think he's going to run these guys over this week. And our last two picks are at, at the people's choice. Uh, they're the uh, Thompson Gear Limbs for two-year-olds up at Tioga. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call it the Jim Moral Double. We're going with him in race three with number two, I'm Gorgeous, and race number ten, number one, Dr. Dreamy. Those are our picks. I'm Gorgeous name for Heather, of course, right? Uh, absolutely. Okay, thank you, Coach Eby. Okay, we go to Pocono. Friday, race three, it was a big one. Stealing the Thunder on Grand Circuit Week at Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs with Sailing Cruise, who broke the nine-year-old track record of Space Shuttle in a race for nine winners of 11-5 in the last five starts. Driven by Andrew McCarthy, the four-year-old stud rolled to victory in 1.50 and 2, while, incre while increasing Sailing Cruise's earnings to more than $336,000. And Heather rejoins and she's going to take you to Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs on Saturday and check out race 11. Right, Darla? That's right. We have more Reynolds action, this time for two-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings. And here, take a look at Shark's Legacy. He's the favorite two for two in his career so far. Also, relaxed fit. This horse's name, his mom's name, is Hip Huggers. I like that. So, I love that. I thought, oh, them. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. And Oakmont, we've got Jimmy Merle Jr. and George Teague Jr. teaming up again. The event resulted in the fastest for the Reynolds divisions with Sharks Legacy timed in 153 and 4, and Andrew McCarthy was in the sulky. Aaron Lambert is the trainer for Shark Legacy. Relaxed Fit was second, and Oakmont was third. Here's more on the race with Randy Castellani. Three for three, Andrew, for Sharks Legacy. You drove this one last start in the Sire Stakes at the Meadows, winning out there in 54 and 1. Today, 154 and 3, and your second win in the series. Tell me a little bit about Sharks Legacy in this mile today. Oh, he's a lovely little colt. He uh, he just seems to be able to carry high speed and, and does it so easy. He was a little unsure of himself there today, but uh, once I got him around the last turn there, he, he shot away and uh, done it quite comfortably. Thank you, Randy. Stay with us. When we come back, we're going all the way up the turnpike to East Rutherford, New Jersey, and we'll have a round the oval. This week, the William Houghton Memorial will take place at the Meadowlands, and also we'll have two divisions of the Meadowlands space. Don't go away. Artificial has a lot of work to do, and he's tracking Mr. Big. Every day is a new experience at Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs with a state-of-the-art casino floor, tantalizing new restaurants, high-energy nightlife, exciting new shopping venues, and more. It's all here and all for you. It's everything you're looking for. Live evening harness racing is back. Experience the thrill every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6.30 p.m. and Saturdays at 1 p.m. Don't miss a moment now through November 21st. Welcome to our world. Say hello to some of our new arrivals. A no pan intended filly out of Armbro Elisa. A Cam's Card Shark Colt from Upfront Georgia. 
rich in elegance Western Ideal Colt, and he's on the pace. A rock and roll Hanover Colt out of Panned Out. Find your next champion only at Hanover. Hi everybody and welcome back. It's time to travel up to East Rutherford, New Jersey. They had some big races Saturday night at the Meadowlands, and not the least of which was the $688,000 William Houghton Memorial Pace for a terrific guy and a real gentleman of the sport who is sadly gone. Mr. Big, no, not the one from Sex in the City, but the Pacer won off at three to five with Brian Sears. Artificial and Ron Pierce was the nine to two second choice. Better Sweet, favorite last week's prep was five to one with Campbell. The surprising Houghton Pret went. By one won the West, went off at 8 to 1 for David Miller, and here's Ken Workington over. with that call. And now, win back speed is locked in the box as they near three quarters. Better Sweet is third over and looking prime there, and tips three wide and tracked by Mr. Big with about five and a half to make up. Pallone Ranger is buried. Artificial has a lot of work to do, and he's tracking Mr. Big, saving all the ground. Dragon King, one, 21 and one for three quarters. Shark Gesture is the one they've got to reel in. Shark Gesture and T-Trick opening up by two and a half, but here comes Better Sweet. Up on the far outside with Mr. Big. One the West is all out of 16th to go. And it's Shark Gesture home free. Shark Gesture. Well, Shark Gesture made chum out of this very classy Houghton Field, winning in 148 and 2. Better Sweet was two back in second. Mr. Big could do no better than third. And now Heather's got the first limb of the Meadowlands Pace. Well, let me tell you something about Shark Gesture, just very quickly. Sure. I know everybody's really big on Mr. Big, but Shark Gesture, in my eyes, is one of the toughest horses out here. Out there, this horse, when he was three years old, got in a horrific accident, comes back, wins the Breeders' Crown final. He retired at four because he had an injury. He was, you know, in the breeding shed, and now he's back again, and he's winning races. I mean, what a career. What a monster, you know? I think being the breeding shed probably <laughs> reinvigorated him to be a pacer again, right? Hey, that that could be true. That could be true. Yes, we're going to take a look at the first limb here. We've got Well Said. He won the North America Cup in Canada. You, re you might remember that race. Goes for a million dollars. Also, Art Colony has Hall of Famer John Campbell on the bike. And we've also got Drop Red, who's coming into this race off of a win. Here's Well Said. Steamrolls first over. Tries to put away Art Colony. Three quarters, 122 and two. 27 seconds flat in the third quarter. And Well Said looks to draw clear. Well Said here. And Pierce, a Drop Red on the outside is all out. Art Colony battling back, still second. Late pace from Vintage Master. Well said. His statement is loud and clear. Well said ends up pulling away from the field. He wins in 149 and 2. Art Colony did hold on for second. Then Drop Red was actually third, but placed sixth because he went off stride and he lost no ground. So that makes Village Master, who was fourth, he gets moved into the third place position. Okay, well said. Obviously, will be the favorite in tonight's million dollar Six final. To five favorite. Yeah. Okay. In the second <laughs> Metal Lance Pace elimination, the coach's favorite horse, Hypnotic Blue Chip, who usually zigs when the coach thinks he'll zag, went off as the eight to five favorite. If I Can Dream with the Minister's Speed was five to two. Past Master Hanover and Sears was the third choice. Here's the call. One twenty one and three fifths. If I Can Dream taking it to Arctic Warrior. Here comes Hypnotic Blue Chip on the outside with T-Trick as Chase and Racing looks to squeeze on through. Ideal Danny and Andy Miller trying to rally on the outside in deep stretch. Hypnotic Blue Chip. Well, Hypnotic Blue Chip came through this time, put them all in a trance, winning in 149 and 2. And Chase and Racing was second at 17 to 1. I think you put me on that horse, yeah, didn't you? I did. I believe you did. And Ideal Danny with Andy Miller was third. So everything is all set now for tonight's million dollar final of the Meadowlands Space with the greatest young town in the sport. So check it out here at Harris Chester or at Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs, whichever is closest and more convenient for you. And we want to say Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs and Hook Beach this month. They made the Who's Hot list. They have Who's Hot, Who's Not. They are Who's Hot. Everybody's going there. It's a great place to go and have fun. I agree. Okay. And for Heather Moffat, I'm Steve Ross. Until next time, take care.